Hey Capricorn, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we are going to do your last week of March general love reading. Now, keep in mind this is a general reading, which means it cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome. Come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that you all are doing well. So when I was meditating over you guys' energy, the song that I heard was Where Do We Go Wrong by LTD. I'll leave the link to that song in the description box below so you can listen to it following the reading if you so choose to. Now, this was a big group, so I was not going to look up all those Zodiac signs. But I did hear Leo, Taurus, and that's just specifically off of the initials of the group LTD. So I got Leo, Taurus, possibly a Libra also. So Leo, Libra, Taurus. Someone's first, middle, or last initial would be L, T, or D as well. You or love interest. And what I heard when I was meditating over that is like, it's all starting to make sense now. So somebody's like reflecting and pinpointing like when a significant shift happened in a relationship. Whether you're single or not. Like if you're in a relationship, you're starting to realize, okay, what caused this new transformation? What caused this new change in your relationship status or you know, how you resonate with this person. And then also, um, if you're completely single, you're reflecting on what caused the end or a breakup and how you want to move forward into a new relationship is what I'm getting here. Okay. So let's see what we get for you guys today. We're going to get your major arcana, which is the devil. And we'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. And I keep wanting to say Libra real strong. So somebody's definitely dealing with a Libra bottom of the deck you have the eight of cups see that's what i'm saying where do we go wrong like you see how he's looking up at the moon like thinking on an emotional level because somebody's in their feelings right now this could be you this could be a love interest put it where it applies you have the eight of cups now cups is cancer by scorpio so you could be definitely dealing with someone who is a water sign but like i said more than anything i'm getting like somebody is oh okay and you know i always say with this you have the eight of cups but you got one two three cups spilled over what could have went wrong is like Someone lost trust for someone after they found out that somebody, and it doesn't have to be like, third party doesn't have to be like somebody's actually intimate with somebody and slept with someone. It could just be you found out that this person was communicating with someone behind your back because this is going on behind this person's back, okay? And you feel like you can't trust this person anymore. You, it's like you lost trust with this person, and that's what caused things to shift. That's what caused change. That's what caused you to go in a different direction, especially emotionally, because the cups are back here. He's facing this way, going in a different direction. You don't feel the same about this person anymore. Or they don't feel like that about you. Okay, let's see what's going on here. So as we part of that, see, I can't make that. You guys are watching this. And it's not even even. Look at that. The eight of cups, you got one, two, three cups spilled over. And then you got the three of cups here. So what went wrong was a third party situation. Again, it doesn't have to be that you were intimate with this person or they were intimate with this person. It just seems like some type of third party interference. Third party interference can also be family. Okay, there could be family members and they allow other people outside of interference to get in the middle of the relationship they had with you and cause drama and cause, you know, chaos. Getting that most definitely. So let's get you guys major arcana just seeing star card, which film and healing. That's also Aquarius energy. And then you got more Aquarius. Someone's first and the last initial could be A E V K T. S, R, or D. I just heard Alvin, Alex, Amanda, Amelia. I also was hearing um, Larry and Luther as well as Thomas. That could be someone's first, middle, last initial. Okay. So let's go ahead and go through the deck again. We want your major arcana, which is the devil. And the card that comes before in the card. Okay. And see, this is going to happen soon because we didn't get that far in the deck before we got your card. So, right in front of you, you have the mm -hmm, Page of Cups. Look at him. He's in between two seahorses. So, somebody was entertaining multiple people here. Pages are messengers. You could have found out about something in, re in re regards to somebody entertaining multiple options here. Then there's your card. And then, see, Three of Pentacles. That's what I'm saying. Somebody did some third party stuff. Look. And there you go again. Dog on Eight of Cups. See, that's confirmation. We're starting back off with the card that we even began with. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody found something out. This you, you found something out. You see how he's holding that pinnacle? Like I found it. I get it now. And that's why I said. That's why I was picking up earlier on. It's all starting to make sense. Oh, that's so crazy. It's all starting to make sense. 
pentacles, coins, and cents. So it started to make sense to you guys what happened. Also, somebody could be emotionally immature. If it was not a third party, because everything is not third party. And I don't like to toss it out there. But somebody you could have been dealing with was emotionally immature. Because pages have a lot of growing to do. And it comes to the emotions and feelings. So you were dealing with someone who's emotionally immature. Or you felt like you guys just were not on the same page. And it's making, <laughs> I keep hearing that, it's making sense now. Pentacles is literally sense. Wow. Queens, okay? So, bottom of the deck, you have a fool card taking a leap of faith into something new. You know, it just feels like you want to go in a different direction. Like, once you realize, okay, I'm getting two things. You want to go in a different direction when you realize that you and this person are not on the same level emotionally. And then for others, it's like, you're ready to move on. Now that you understand why a situation ended, you're ready to move on. You're ready to take a new leap of faith. You got Aries, and we're Aries season. Aries and Aquarius here with the fool. So some of you guys could be finding um, an interest in someone or just finding an interest in moving forward, seeing a brighter future. You see how bright that yellow is right there? Also, someone's confidence. You guys' confidence could be getting boosted right now. That yellow makes me think about the solar plexus chakra. Your confidence in yourself could be more powerful. You've been putting in the work. This is you. That's Pentacles. He has that, that hammer there. You've been putting in the work. I just heard a chisel. So some of you guys have lost some weight. When you think about chiseling, like chiseling down, like cutting the weight back, some of you guys could definitely have been losing weight or you're working on that right now. Let's go ahead and get a clarifier. Wow. You guys are definitely putting in the work on yourself. Now, typically when I see this contract, it's like working, building, establishing something together. So you and your person could be trying to work things out and, and reestablish some footing in the relationship. But I also feel like this contract is a dedication to yourself. You guys are very dedicated to your own growth right now. You're not even focused on someone for your past because you're, you're starting new. And I feel like, you know, this is definitely a journey. This new journey is definitely associated with like, the journey of yourself, because you got three of pentacles twice. Now, if you're not dealing with a fellow earth sign, this is just you saying, like, I'm, I'm, if I bet on anybody, I'm gonna bet on myself. As you should, just seeing the emperor, Aries energy, and then we're in Aries season. If you don't bet on nothing else, bet on yourself. You always gonna come out on top. You got the two of pentacles. That's why I said somebody was juggling. You got him in between these two um, seahorses. You got two people dancing with the devil. And then you got three pentacles here. And over him, there's two pentacles. So, yeah. For somebody that was literally a third party. And they and I feel like if they cheated on you or something like that, they lost both of y'all, to be honest with you. Again, emotional immaturity. You did all that and you lost both of us. Mm, fancy. So, let's get a clarifier for... The Page of Cups as well as the Three of Pentacles. For Capricorn. Okay, yep, somebody was being manipulative. Okay, Major Arcana, the Magician, Virgo, Gemini Energy. Somebody was being manipulative. Could be emotionally manipulative. Okay, look at it. As I pick this up, Cups is the emotional feelings. He's going right towards the Magician. The Magician is a master manifester. They can manifest anything they want because they have all the tools on a powerful vibration of positivity and a lower vibration okay it does look like somebody is like you know they were being emotionally manipulative and you wasn't rocking with that you wasn't feeling it so now you're just focusing on you no longer dealing with nonsense here at the bottom of the deck okay you you already have two major icons this is very powerful whenever you get major icons back to back they're saying like okay this is a very significant change for some of y'all this this could be leading to a divorce or led to a divorce because whenever you have the Empress, the Emperor is never too far behind. Those are divine counterparts. And when you have one of them in reverse or both of them, that's the ending of a relationship. Again, it doesn't have to mean marriage, but typically they are married. It doesn't have to be a marriage, but it could be like a long-term union with somebody. Could be involving a Taurus, a Libra, or also Aries. And again, we're in Aries season. So for some of y'all, you're like, I I'm not feeling this. I'm not going to keep sitting in this situation because she's sitting comfortably. I'm not going to keep sitting in a situation that makes me uncomfortable. I'm going to focus on myself and work on myself. I'm getting like, um, yeah, again, boosting, boost, boosting your confidence. I'm getting, cause there's that yellow, that bright yellow again. Let's get a clarifier for the three of pentacles for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus individuals. Okay. Hmm. So you have the four cups in reverse. Of those four cups, he has tunnel vision on a three. So I feel like very strongly on an emotional level, some of you guys have tapped out. Because you feel exhausted with a situation, you feel exhausted with this person's actions, whatever you, whatever they gave you, because I'm hearing like, 
dishing, like something being dished to you, whatever you dish, whatever they tried to dish out to you, you did not like it. Or you felt like you didn't deserve it. I, I really want you to look at this. You got the three of pentacles here, and this is the four of cups, but he's looking at these three. There's a strong focus on three. So I feel like what's standing out for a lot of you guys, because again, the message that I heard was it's all starting to make sense now. Now, somebody has switched up, and I feel like they could have been manipulative. If somebody switched up all of a sudden, it could be a third party that made them switch up. And that's and you're starting to realize why this person is acting different. Also, like I said, I feel like on an emotional level, this person was immature to you and you just wasn't feeling it. That's not your vibe. You're not on that type of timing. You are in a in a, in a position of growing and building. This is a builder. You are in a builder. You know, like you're a master builder. Some of you guys could be literally a master builder. Like you could be a master number. I'm getting 33. Somebody could be a, a life path number 33. Somebody could be a life path number three. You kept getting all those threes. You can also be seeing three, three, three. Those are divine messages coming into you. They're trying to help you manifest things that make you feel happy and healthy and healed and in your power. I feel like a lot of you guys are proud of yourself because he's very he he's holding this up with pride. You're very proud of how you dealt with a situation as of late. Very proud of yourself for not going back or accepting anything because that cup is being extended, but he's not accepting it. You're very proud of yourself for not accepting things that don't make you happy, that they're, they're no longer in alignment with you. I'm getting that also. Because you're healing, you're evolving. And just as I said that, your candle just went out. So you're no longer giving this person energy. You're done. You're, you're cutting them off from your energy supply. That's what I'm getting. And again, you know, it takes fire to light a candle. So for some of you all, you'll be dealing with a fire sign, Leo, Sag, Aries. If you notice here, the devil is surrounded by fire. So yeah. And also that fire, even if you're not dealing with a fire sign, it could be just like, you know, fire is action, tenacity, vitality, passion. You could be losing passion for a certain connection because on an emotional level, it just is not feeding you anymore. So you're, you're wrapping it up. And so, like I said, it's all starting to make sense. It's making sense to you now why you feel the way that you feel. Because there are strong feelings involved. You got cups here, feelings, cups here. You're starting off with cups. You're ending with cups. You know, you're really paying attention to your feelings right now. And you're putting yourself first. That's what I'm getting here. Okay? So Capricorn, someone rising to Venus individuals. As always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, take care and be well. Bye.